The city of Abilene is pleased to share that the Texas Department of Transportation has completed the reconstruction of the North 18th Street Bridge and the bridge is now open to traffic. The bridge was first closed to traffic in February of 2020. That was after the bridge was deemed unsafe to cross. And the city of Abilene coordinated with TxDOT to identify and address those issues at hand. It was January 2021. It was determined that repairs would not remedy the bridge's deterioration and a full reconstruction was necessary. So by November 2021, TxDOT completed its redesign of the bridge. Contractor began reconstruction there. So now that it's done, moving forward, the city of Abilene will have the responsibility of maintaining the bridge. The city did contribute $160,000 of TxDOT's total $1.6 million cost of reconstruction there. If you have any questions or concerns about the North 18th Bridge project, contact the City of Abilene Public Works Department at 325-676-6281. Residents living in a couple residential areas on the far south side of Abilene need to prepare for some full street closures while roads are undergoing a seal coating project during the month of April. You can find color coded maps of the affected areas on our website at abilenetax.gov. You'll also find a link to a site that's been set up by the contractor there giving exact details of that project and how to contact them with any questions or concerns. The seal coating will completely shut down roads for a full 24 hour period so affected residents may need to plan to maybe park vehicles on a nearby street and walk to them for the day. So again, you can find those maps of affected areas and the link to the contractor's information site that's at abilenetx.gov. Exciting news from the Abilene Zoo. Twin giant anteater pups, a first of its kind birth for our zoo, were born to their two and a half year old mother, Demo, on the morning of March 28th. So the giant anteater twins, one boy, one girl, are Demos firstborn. Abilene Zoo animal care specialists have kept close watch of mother and babies weighing the pups daily. It was noted that the female pup was not gaining weight, and so a decision was made to hand raise her. While the male pup continues to be with mother Demo, the zoo's veterinary and animal care teams are working towards the goal of reuniting the entire family as soon as possible when the female pup gains weight and achieves critical milestones. There's not yet a date set for the pups to be out on display to the public. However, Demo is at liberty to move around her exhibit and she has already given a few lucky Abilene Zoo guests the chance to see her baby boy riding on her back. So plan to visit the giant anteater viewing area at the zoo sometime soon and you can try and catch a glimpse. All Kind Animal Initiative is partnering with City of Abilene Animal Services to offer a free vaccine and microchip clinic on Saturday, April 23rd. It's at the Swenson House from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Because turnout was so great at the last All Kind and the Animal Services vaccination clinic that they held, organizers strongly encourage that everyone pre-register before coming out. You can do that and learn more at allkindabilene.org and then you just scroll down to upcoming events. Things are really heating up over at City of Abilene Parks and Recreation. Uh, Registration is now open for all sorts of activities, including summer camp. Summer Camp 2022 is open to campers ages 6 to 13 years old. It's held in two week sessions that starts June 6th. They run through August 12th. Each day starts at 7.30 a.m., ends at 5.30 p.m. Cost is just $85 per session for each camper. That includes breakfast, lunch, snacks, and a field trip. Also over at Parks and Rec right now, you'll see sign up for league activities and this year's Mother Son Dance. It will be at the Abilene Convention Center on Friday, May 13th. Professional pictures begin at 630 and the doors to the dance will open promptly at 7 p.m. Tickets will not be available at the door, so be sure to go to myabilineparksandrec.com or abilenetx.gov to purchase ahead of time uh, for just $12 a person for a ticket there. A quick note, most city offices will be closed Friday, April 15th in observance of the Easter holiday. Details on closures and services like trash pickup can be found at abilenetx.gov. This is my ABI on City Hall. For more news and updates directly from the City of Abilene, subscribe to alerts at abilenetx.gov and click on Notify Me under the Communications tab.